Okay, today's day three. I got the engine all stripped down on top side. All my bolts were um, categoried and labeled and marked so I wouldn't forget. Uh, before I pulled everything off, first thing I did was all the electrical connectors and all the hoses in my truck will walk over here. This is my Dodge. And what I did was all the hoses and connectors I label them with blue tape to know exactly where they're going you have to be familiar uh, with the motor so that you know what to uh, detail you know intake and all the different parts of the motor you have to be familiar with it so you label all those connectors you do I do little videos so today uh, my phase is the exhaust the lower disconnecting of everything starter crack the uh, tranny and get ready to pull this puppy so anyway this is my third day into this first day was the top end hoses detailed and everything yesterday was getting all the accessories off and freeing up things and I pulled that intake off so that I could get to the rear you know uh, so I didn't damage any of my um, sensor plugs or anything because I'm old Chevy guy and this new Dodge uh, was new things for me to learn so anyway I pulled that off and uh, so today I'm going to try to get this puppy pulled out. Alrighty, this is my update. I just want to fill you in on the procedure. So that's where it is. Oh, and by the way, a little note. The, <coughs> the throttle, uh, the throttle that goes on to the uh, throttle body, don't make the mistake and try to pop it off. It actually pulls forward to disconnect. I made that mistake and now I got to replace that cable. That's the worst of this procedure so far. I can deal with it. Once the motor is out, I'll try to get it replaced if I can find one. Okay, that's it for now. Logged. That's one of my story logs.